Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Lindsay Faust, I am 20 years old and I'm super passionate about sustainable fashion, especially sharing it here with you guys on YouTube. In today's video, it's actually my first ever requested video, so I'm super excited to be making this. Yeah, I will try to put the comment here. Um, but she basically asked, hi, can you please do a video on how to find your style? And I have actually thought about making a video like this because if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know my outfits change a bit dramatically depending on the day, um, especially when you consider the seasons too. So for example, I like to dress really colorfully in the spring and summer and then when fall winter season kind of rolls around, I'm in more sophisticated and muted tones and my outfits just kind of are more layered, a bit more complex, whereas in the spring, it's kind of more loose flowing. So I'm gonna be going through a bunch of different aesthetics for size, so for anything from a super girly fit, and then also to super dramatic outfits, and then into some like tomboyish or utilitarian outfits. I really like to dress up and be almost like a different person every day, depending on what I'm doing or who I'm gonna be with. So I'm super excited to style and explore some of these looks with you guys. So without further ado, let's get into this week's video. So guys, this first outfit we have here is super Pinterest inspired slash soft girl. I love the color blocking on this and I think it's a perfect outfit for spring summer. This little bag here I have is actually a bandana that I used and tied knots on. Um, but here's some of the details of the fit. I got this skirt from Depop and this top I bought from my friend's Instagram closet. So for outfit number two we also have a super Pinterest inspired slash soft girl look. I have this fluffy cardigan that I got from Buffalo Exchange in Boston, and then these white bell bottom pants that I also bought from a friend. And then lastly, we have this little canvas tote. But to pair with it, I also have these little green butterfly clips in. Another thing that I learned um, through different videos on YouTube about styling is called Oreo sandwiching. So if you have like white at the top of you, you also want to get white at the bottom of your outfits. So every time I follow this tip, my fits just look so much more put together. So here is my last super girly Pinterest inspired look. I went with a tennis skirt because I know those are super in style right now. And I also chose one of these tie tops. I actually made this one myself out of an old turtleneck I had that was a little too tight. I love the monochromatic look. I think it works perfect for any season. Styling things by color is a super easy way to look way more put together. Like, tell me I'm not <laughs> kind of living for it. Even though it's cold, I'm like, me and my chunky feelers might just have to like step out in this, like to the store or something. So yeah, this is how I would dress up as a super soft girly Pinterest girl. So now we're gonna get on to the next category. Now moving on to a more preppy fit. We have this little tennis skirt that I got while thrifting from Goodwill. And same with this huge sweater. I thrifted it from St. Vincent de Paul over here in Cincinnati. And then this white shirt underneath was also thrifted, but I forget from where. Oh, and also, I paired it with these biker shoes. I got these at Goodwill. Come on. I got these at Goodwill for like $5. But like, oh my god, the buckles. Oh my god everything i'm obsessed with them so i just took off that vest and threw on a sweatshirt this outfit is super preppy just like the last one but by adding on this almost beret like bandana it definitely adds another layer of style to it like i said with the last one you can pair this with pants if you like but i love skirts so i'm gonna keep the tennis skirt for this look and i kept on our biker shoes as well. Oh, that's another tip about style, is follow trends as much as you want to, but trends are literally put there so that we will consume more and buy into them. 
there are 52 micro seasons in a year and that is exhausting to keep up with. So just wear whatever you like. If you would rather wear a turtleneck under this, do that. Style is completely defined by you. And if anyone says they're in style, it's just because brands are pushing that idea onto you until we buy into it. So literally, nothing is ever technically in style. It's just marketed to us that way. So keep that in mind when you're asking yourself. Your style is just you and nothing else matters. No matter what anyone else wears, it doesn't matter. I don't care. Nobody cares because you dress like yourself. That's when you're gonna get the most compliments and that's when you're gonna feel the most yourself and feel the most confident. So, next fit. So now we're moving from puppy into a more sophisticated look. So this is something that I would wear on maybe like a date or I've worn it out for like a birthday dinner. Super fun and the cow neckline is really classic. I paired it with this belt, I got on Depop it honestly is such a great purchase because you can wear it with jeans or throw it on to cinch the waistline of dress like this. I think the dress length is very moderate and I think it makes me look a bit older, which you know. And also because it is winter, I paired it with this black leather jacket and some nude kitten heels for some spice, of course. But I think the length of this is super flattering and this is actually the jacket that I fixed the button on on my last video. So going off of that more sophisticated look, I have this white top that my roommate actually bought on Depop and didn't like the fit so I bought it off of her. Then I paired it with these pants and to top off the look, I have these, I don't know the rest of you should these. Let me just take them off. Um, here they are. I was obsessed with the black Gucci loafers, but they're like a grand and you know, I'm a student. So I found these at Goodwill about a year ago. Yeah, yeah, because it was around Christmas time. And literally got them for like $6. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna keep thrifting. So these shoes, you can wear them with socks, wear them without, but this is something that I would wear to work. So if you are looking for anyone to hire, Please hire me. I'm looking for a job for next summer. Please hire me. This is how I show up to work. You can't tell me, oh, she's put together. Oh, she can get her job done. She's gonna look good too. Oh, you need someone to run that Excel sheet? I'm your girl. Someone to go grab coffees? I'm still your girl. Also, this bag's from Depop. You've seen it in probably every video. Um, definitely a steal. You can throw her around. Indestructible. Literally indestructible. I think it was eight dollars. Never been more proud of my life. Goes perfect with every outfit, every occasion. Highly recommend looking for a little black bag. From workwear to glam. This is an outfit that I wore in New York when I went out to the clubs when that was still a thing. Had a grand time, walked around the city like this. My best friends. Shout out to Emily for hosting me, I had a great time. But yeah, this is something that I would wear if I'm going to have like my birthday party or we're out in New York, I'm gonna wear this. I think having statement pieces, a lot of people can find kind of nerve wracking, but it's all about the confidence you have behind the look. So like me walking in this dress in New York, chin up, like I'm gonna look good. But if I'm like, shy to wear, which you know I would be in Clifton because I have never worn this out. Probably would not have the same effect. So, if being bold and being confident is your style or it's just your personality, try testing it out a little bit. And even if it's not, even better. Like, if it's not in your comfort zone to wear something crazy and like calling attention to you, maybe try it out. Borrow one of your friend's outfits and see how it makes you feel. Fashion is super empowering and that's why I love styling because I think everyone deserves to feel their best, especially when they're going out and having fun with their friends. Or honestly, I would wear this to the grocery store right now. Like, why not? Who's stopping me? But also, the bag. I swear, every time it just does it for me. But I think that when I have kids, I'm gonna wear this when I like pick them up from soccer practice. It just, I haven't dressed like this in months, almost a year now, like, why wouldn't I wear this casually out? But I wish more people dressed like this, I think it's fun. Our next fit is also a bit of a glam retro look, I'm gonna pair 
with this black jacket that I'm obsessed with. I got it from I'm Gia about six months ago. It was an investment piece. This was one of my new items I bought this year. Yes, I do buy new items. This was one of them and I know I'm going to keep it literally for life. So let's talk about it. So if you're looking for a bougie look, but with a bit more of a toned down, sophisticated edge, I recommend wearing black and I think it suits everyone super well. Black is anyone's color. Wish I could dress like this more often. Honestly, but I have nowhere to go but my living room. So, in the meantime, I will continue to play dress up in my bedroom. On to the next category. So, moving on, we have kind of a granola girl or hippie aesthetic here going on. I have this bag from Lucky Brand that I got in high school, these pants from Urban that I got my freshman year of college, these white little go-go boots I got on Depop, and then this Papillion's butterfly shirt that I got on Depop, but I believe it's from Urban. Normally, <laughs> I don't dress like this, but as you can see, it's still like some of the items I have in my closet. I think this look is super fun. I think I'm gonna try it out more and challenge myself to get out of my comfort zone. So if anyone wants to be a hippie or a fairy with me, let me know because I think that this look is super fun and it kind of leads right into our next look. Honestly, I'm like the more I wear this, the more I'm kind of into it. Also, I thought that pairing it with a graphic tee was perfect with these kind of pop artish rainbow pants. And then again, the Oreo rule. We are Oreoing a white shirt with some white boots. Just makes sense. Okay, so for this next outfit, I feel like I belong on that 70s show. Maybe it's just the Beatles tee, but I'm living for it. I have this bandana I bought from a friend, these pants I bought from a friend, and then this shirt I bought from Junk Food probably three years ago. It's one of my favorite graphic tees. Super near and dear to my heart. Had a big Beatles face in high school. I paired it lastly with these Doc Martens. And it's kind of nice that the yellow stitching here matches the shirt. Again, a little Oreo moment. Plus, these red pants. Got some red on the bandana. And also, if I were to pair this with a bag, I would use this black bag here. I got it from Pixel 19. Super great deal. I had this like weird patch on it, but I just ripped it off because I wanted to have kind of more of... 70s like simplistic oh oh i think i'm definitely gonna become a hippie i'm like but why not I'm, come on come on like this just proves you can do literally all the above like if i can dress like this and then in a secret dress, it's like girl why not who's stopping you okay i'm sorry this video has literally the most abrupt ending ever but I'm realizing I literally have 13 outfits left and this video is 15 minutes long. So part two will be up in a couple of days. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.